Hey guys, welcome back to Testing Universe. As part of our Selenium exceptions and error series, in this video we are going to resolve invalid selector exception. Let us see when exactly we are going to get this particular exception and what is the root cause for this particular exception and how to resolve this exception. So invalid selector exception. So when do we use selectors? while identifying the elements we'll be using the selectors so that means driver dot find element by either id name xpath or css selector all these different uh, values are there right so those are different selectors we are using in selenium to identify an element so if you make some mistake in the syntax of the selectors you are going to encounter invalid selector exception so let us re reproduce this exception first and then we'll try to analyze what is the root cause for that particular exception and we'll try to resolve this. So I have already written my code over here. This is the you know uh, ready-made code. I don't want to waste much time on writing all this uh, code again. So web driver, I'm using Chrome driver to set up. I am initializing the Chrome driver and then I am landing on google.com. So as soon as I land on google.com, let me go to google.com and I want to enter some value in this particular text field. If I want to enter value in that particular text field, right? So let us first assume that in this particular element, we don't have class, we don't have name. I have only title is equal to search and then I have, I have title is equal to search and then I have area label is equal to search. Let us assume, right, all these class, name, all these things are not there like that. So when we don't have name, ID, and then class, we'll either go for, right, uh, CSS selectors or we'll go for XPath. So let us go to, you know, we'll write the XPath for this particular title is equal to search, right? So And then we'll enter the value. Let me write that particular code over here. find element by dot x path and then I am going to write double forward slash input at the rate title and then search the value of the title is search okay and dot send keys I will be writing testing universe YouTube right so I have written this and then I am entering the value let us just run this so it's going to open Chrome browser and then it is going to land on google.com and it will enter the value in the text box testing universe YouTube but it didn't enter at this moment we might have some exception let us go over here and then we'll see what is the exception you can see over here we have got an exception that is called org open QA selenium invalid selector exception so if you go little bit right side it mentions invalid selector and then it gives the detailed explanation where exactly we have gone wrong unable to locate an element with the xpath expression and then this is the expression so this expression looks good right do we have some mistake over here there can you just identify the mistake and then try to correct this and then execute yes I have deliberately f wanted to show you this exception that's why I have made a syntax mistake of the xpath right so whenever uh, we write xpath it is double uh, relative xpath it is double forward slash and then you will have a bracket over here and then if you want to have some value then we are having a bracket and then we are closing only one bracket we are not closing the another bracket if we close the second bracket then this will not fail so I will run it again
and then this time it is entering testing universe YouTube okay so we don't have any fa failure over here so try to understand this very carefully if you make right if you make any mistake in the syntax of the selector xpath selectors syntax right then you will be getting invalid selector exception if you make any mistake in the syntax of the selector if i simply you know change the value for example here instead of search search is there and then instead of title titl something like this in the values if i make any mistake right let us now see what happens it has loaded google.com again we have got an exception so is it invalid selector no you can see here no such element exception no such element means our syntax is correct but the value you are looking at is not correct so you should know the difference between no such element and invalid selector exception so that's why i'm i know uh, repeating it again if you make the mistake in the syntax of the selector then you will be getting invalid selector exception so that is how you can identify and resolve the exception which is called invalid selector exception in this particular video we have uh, you know uh, resolved it and we have one more type of invalid selector exception which is compound class not permitted exception which i am going to you know cover in one more video and in this particular video's description i am going to give you that video link also you can go through that hope you have liked this video if you like this video you can you know like it share it and subscribe it and you can also follow us on all these platforms thank you so much for watching